Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today I thought I would give you all a tour of my little makeup section in my room. My room is pretty oddly shaped um, because of where like our heater is located. It's kind of weird. So I have like this little part in my room that's supposed to be like the closet, but it's just kind of small. So I decided to turn this into my little like makeup corner because I have my desk just right here where I do my schoolwork and do my makeup. And... Yeah, so I thought I'd give you guys a tour. And before we jump right on in, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Um, my links will be down below. So yeah, let's just jump right in into the tour. Okay, so here we have the top section of this little trolley cart. I got this trolley cart from Target. I'm holding a tripod, so I'm sorry if it's shaky. I got this little cart from Target. They have multiple different colors. I can't remember the brand, but I will link everything I can down below for you guys of where I got things. Um, but here, this top drawer or this top section of the cart is my everyday things um, for the most part. So these are all my different projects. So right here I have like my, my regular project pan, my shop, my stash, my project 10 uses, my pan that palette and pan those eyeshadows. I have a lot going on up here, but I like to physically see all my products. So I actually use them before I had them in these drawers and I forgot I had them. And I just felt like I just wasn't getting the use that I needed. And I've been doing this for a little while now and it seems to be working for me really, really well. So, like I said, I have my regular project pan items here. Um, shot my stash, project 10 uses, pan that palette, pan those eyeshadows, apocalypse. And then just right here, I have my setting spray that, whoa, I have my setting spray that I'm just trying to use up. This is just an 0 for 1. Um, and then I have my little mini Charlotte Tilbury. I think I mentioned in my 2021 favorites that I lost this for like a month or so. So, I opened my regular size. And yeah, so I just have this here. I've been using this very, very frequently just to try to use it up before I go back to my regular size. I do have a little hand lotion right here because my hands get really, really dry. And I just have another ColourPop lip oil that I have opened. I only open one or two ColourPop lip oils at a time. And then these are just my lip scrubs from ColourPop and my lip balms from like Jason Wu and ColourPop as well. And I think I have like an Egyptian like magic cream under there as well for when my skin is super, super dry. But yeah, this is the top drawer. And up just right here, I have this little <laughs> veg hog canvas. Uh, my mom got this for me when her and her boyfriend went to New Orleans quite a few years ago. But the artist, I think, is Coco Alley, if I'm saying that right. So if you guys are interested, um, I think she has an Instagram. I'll try to look for her, and I'll leave some links down below. But I don't know. I love it. It's super, super cute. Next down here, it is a little hard to see, but I have all of my lip pencils right here because I've been using lip pencils a whole bunch recently and I thought having them out would help me and so far it really, really has. I have all my other like lip balms right here. So I have e.l.f., Milani, and Kapari. I think that's just all I have right in here. And then back here, it's super hard to see, but I have all of my NYX butter glosses because I have so many of them and I'm obsessed and I have an issue. This whole bin right here is makeup that I have received from friends and family that is not considered cruelty free in the gray area of being cruelty free or I can't find any information on their cruelty free status whatsoever so I have like Believe Beauty, Rare Beauty, Fenty, maybe a couple others not too sure and then back here I just have some backup so I have some setting sprays I have a Real Technique sponge, I have a Juno & Co sponge, and a pair of scissors. So I know it's really hard to see and I apologize, but yeah, that's what I have just right on in the second part of the cart. So next for this bottom part of the cart, I have all of my eyebrow products here. So I have my brow, like, uh, pomades, pencils, powders, uh, everything like that right in here, mainly because I couldn't fit them in my drawer anymore. And then I have all my eyeliners and unopened mascaras, like my backup mascaras, and yeah, that's pretty full as well. So I just have a whole bunch of that there. Right here, I just have some nails because I've been getting into doing my nails recently and using like the like the glue on nails. I don't know, I really like it. And it saves me a bunch of time because I love painting my nails, but I just don't, don't have time for it all the time. And then here, my sister got me little Winnie the Pooh um, little hand lotions for Christmas. So I don't know the company or the status of these, but I just have them right here. Um, I have a whole bunch of hand lotions I need to use up. So these are kind of like backups right now. I have another larger, um, lotion that I use on my legs if it's really, really dry. And my husband uses this too. He loves this one. And then this isn't cruelty free. This is my husband's. I got this for him because he has really, really bad dry skin right now. It's just in a vino, uh, like oil mist. I know I don't buy brands that aren't cruelty free, 
but with my husband's skin right now I'm just trying to find anything to help relieve anything for his skin. So that's why that is here. Next, I just have some elastics, some backup elastics. I have so many right now, so these probably won't be used for a very long time. I have a little makeup. Um, I just got this for myself recently just to clean my makeup brushes a little bit better. I got this on sale at like Ulta. And then I have some Clorox wipes back here for, to wipe down my makeup, my desk, just to sanitize any areas because you never know, honestly, with everything nowadays. And then right back here, I just have my little spray bottle that has my alcohol in it to sanitize my makeup products. And I think that's all. I have like a Ziploc bag. What's back here? And then I just have some random little things that my mom put in the stockings and I really don't know what they're used for. But yeah, that is everything in my little three tier cart. Again, got this from Target and I will try to link it all down below for you guys. Okay, next up right here on the top of my ikea drawers i have my makeup brushes right here and my sponges yes they're very dirty i am well aware i need to clean them but i wanted to show you guys these for the video and then i got these from target and like the little what's it bullseyes playground and then i just put my sponges on here because it's easy to sanitize and clean off um i know it's not the cutest but that seems to work so far and then i just have this little mirror that my mom gave me forever ago i'm not sure where she got it my guess was target so if i can find something similar i'll try to link it down below whether it's target or like amazon or something and then i just have my little hair clips <laughs> the ColourPop and rudolph collab little tiny hair clips that i use for my hair and i was never someone that used clips on my hair until i got those and it's a game changer and i don't know how i did my makeup before okay so now that i moved all of that stuff out of the way we can see what's really on top makeup wise and like fragrance wise so down right here i just have my palettes that i could fit in here so i have kkw all right here i have some abh i have dose of colors i have laura lee los angeles i think that's a color pop one a pet my patrick ta um Too faced right here melt cosmetics and my smaller natasha denona's um I basically have that because I cannot fit them in the drawers because I have a lot of eyeshadow but yeah and also these are ones that I really want to use at some point hopefully depending on my projects so yeah it's nice to have them all right here and then going up right here I'll just start at this drawer I have all my cream slash liquid products that aren't being used in any projects for the most part so yeah just in here I have all my cream slash liquids um I got a whole bunch of undone beauty because they were super cheap at my Target, so I don't know if they're not going to be sold at Target. I don't really know what's going on, but I love them, so I decided to pick up some more. I haven't shared with you guys the makeup I've gotten, um, just because I'm trying to limit my uses, like my use. I'm trying to limit how much I spend on makeup. I'm actually contemplating making a um, low buy video, so if you guys want to see that, I'll definitely share with you guys my rules for myself and all Oh, everything like that but yeah so I bought a few more of these because they were literally like through three or four dollars I don't remember so I have Melt, Charlotte Tilbury, Patrick Todd, NYX, LYS, Colourpop, Pixie, Makeup by Mario, Undone Beauty, and Persona in here and I like to have these all right here because I love using cream products so yes so I also like to see them because if I want to use a cream product or if I want to grab one and use for a project, I will remember it and see it. So then in this little top drawer, I just have all my singles. So I have all my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, a random little Natasha Denona Zendo shade, my Milk Jumbo Eye Pencils, a couple e.l.f. shadow sticks, and my e.l.f. like little glitter toppers. And I like to see these right here because it helps me use them more too because I'm super bad about using my single products. And I have so many of them. Turtle. Do, do, do. Here you go. Hi, mama. Mama, mama, mama. Yeah. Yeah. But crab. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and then just up right here, I have my fragrances, like my mists and everything, and I'm trying to use up all these little <laughs> little perfume samples I have. If you guys want like a little project video with when it comes to like my fragrances, please let me know because I want to get rid of all these little ones and I'm not a huge fan of these soul body ones and I'm having a really hard time using them. So I'm thinking if maybe if I do like my own like fragrance slash fragrance mist project maybe it'll help me use them up but yes yeah, so i have all my fragrances up here i have my brazilian i have my brazilian uh what is it the pistachio and salted caramel fragrance which i love it smells so so good i have my soul body ones like i said i'm not a huge fan of i have a little kayali i think it's a kayali 
like the Huda Beauty or the Huda fragrance line. I have like a little, I think that's like Tom Ford. I have a little one right here. Don't even remember this. I don't even remember the names of these. But I have more Kayali right here, which I really, really enjoy these. They smell so, so good. But yeah, if you guys want to see like a fragrance project, please let me know. I'll be super happy to do it. And then right here, I just have some jewelry. I don't wear a lot of jewelry. It's stuck right now. <laughs> I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but this is more just like sentimental um, rings right here. And then some earrings and some necklaces um yeah and then i just have like my little random keychains from like those little things you get at target like you open them and they're like a mystery so i have like <laughs> stitches elvis and then i have boo from monsters inc then this is just an empty box my husband got me the two-faced christmas in the city um last year and yeah i just thought the box was kind of cute and right now it's just right there because i don't know where to put it but yeah that is everything up right in this little section and now let's get on to the drawers so right here in drawer number one um, this is just, like, an Alex 5 drawer, I believe. Like I said, I will try to link everything. This is just, like, stuff I have for school slash some everyday items, since right now for my school, you have to wear a mask and everything. So I can't really wear makeup when I do go to campus a couple days a week. But I have some eyebrow things here and, like, little setting sprays, mascara, and this little glam glow thing I'm trying to use up. It smells good, but not cruelty-free. And then right here I have my concealers and color correctors and a couple little mini loose powders that I still have not used. So yeah, so in here, this is like KVD, Lottie London, right? Yeah, Lottie London. This is my Flower Beauty um, color corrector that I really want to use after I finish my Becca one. Some color corrector, other color correctors. So I have Milani Supercharged, which I haven't used yet, but I heard it's really, really good. I have a green LA Girl Pro Conceal for if I'm super, super red. Not the biggest fan of the cons consistency when it comes to using this for redness, but... It does the job a little bit. It helps out a little. Then I have, like, all my other concealers. So I have NYX, Milani, more NYX, ColourPop, Merit, Jouer. What's under here? CoverGirl. Uh, yeah, quite a few CoverGirl. And Catrice. So, yeah. That's my little concealer section. Like I said, that's for school. I have all of my powders right here. And this is including my loose powders. Besides, like, the stuff I have in my projects right now. Like, my Laura Mercier that I'm trying to use up. But this is all the powder in my collection. So, I have CoverGirl, um, Glowish by Huda Beauty, Hourglass, Charlotte Tilbury, Essence right here, Milani, um, Becca, more CoverGirl. I have an e.l.f. one. E.l.f. This is Milani. Yeah. And this is just a pure foundation powder so yeah i'm actually kind of proud with the number of powders i have considering the rest of my collection but it's still a lot anyways and then back just right here i have my primer so i have like milani i have like a little primer brightener in case my foundation or concealer is too dark um it's okay from catrice elf like putty primer a mini smashbox my sharpeners what's this a tart little eye base another eyebrow eyebrow um uh, eyeshadow base from covergirl and then like catrice keep me matte so yeah that is my little primer section and then all right here is all my foundations minus um like project pan this little nyx bear with me i use basically if something's too dark it's a great lightener because it's way too light for me and then i have the oh this is the two bites what's this oh this is undone beauty okay this is the undone beauty matte i got for really cheap as well since undone was on major clearance at Target. So yeah, my two bite ones right here. I have a CoverGirl clean fresh one that I use on makeup days where I'm only gonna wear makeup for a few hours. I have the Say tinted, is it tinted slip tint thing? It's okay, I don't really have full thoughts on that yet. But then I have a CoverGirl, CoverGirl, ColourPop Pretty Fresh that I also use as like a lightener. In Essence Pretty Natural, Huda Glowish, which I really enjoy even though I have combo more oily skin a covergirl clean matte and a oma by sharon c foundation which i love and then way back here i just have my beauty blender and my milani screen queen down here is the crazy absurd amount of lip products that i have and they are categorized okay so right here i have all my lip glosses then i have like a little beauty bakery some jouet kkw ofra color pop undone milani um i think that's most of what i have in here when it comes to lip gloss. I also have like bare minerals, I think as well. But yes, I have all these and it's an excessive amount, I know. But yes, I have all these here. These are all my little liquid lipsticks right here. I don't have nearly as much, but I have Laura Lee Los Angeles, Ofra and Sigma right there. And then I have my like bullet lipsticks. So I have bare minerals right here, Urban Decay, Patrick Ta, 
more Urban Decay, Tarte, uh, a little mini Charlotte Tilbury, Becca, Elf, Milani, I think I have a Huda one down right there, yeah, a Huda one, and I think a KKW, a couple KKWs. And then just right here, I have like my lip oils, maracuja lip things, and like kind of like a miscellaneous little section. So I have all my unopened ColourPop lip oils, which is an excessive amount. I have these four Tarte Maracuja lip things, which I really, really enjoy. I have a couple more of the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shines, which I really enjoy as well. I have a couple NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have my favorite little Tarte lip quenchers that my husband got me right here, these two. I have a couple little ColourPop lippy sticks. And I also have all my little Animal Crossing and ColourPop lip tint collabs and then i have some cap on d lip creams right down there as well so that's everything in my lip drawer so now we're going to go on to bronzer blushes and highlights so just down in this third drawer right here i have my bronzers in the front a couple little blushes my blushes and my highlights are way back there so i'm going to start with highlights i have a whole bunch of ofra right here i have some abh becca pixie nabla kylie cosmetics more ofra too faced ColourPop, Jouer, KKW, Essence, ColourPop, and I have a Too Faced one back here. So there is a lot of highlighter, but yeah, so that's my little highlighter area. And then right here, I have my blushes, pretty much all but these two right here in the front. So I have an Ofra blush, Kylie Cosmetics. This is her old formula. By the way, I don't have any of her newer stuff in my makeup collection. Patrick Ta, love these. Uh, ColourPop, Nabla, <laughs> more ColourPop, all right here, and then Elf, Milani, I think this is Tarte, yeah, Tarte, Bare Minerals, it's this little one, Glowish by Huda Beauty, and then also back here I have a KVD, I have and another Milani, I have more, oh, this makeup by Mario, my bad, and then I have here Buxom and a couple essence blushes right here <laughs> persona which i love these i have what's this one a little mini ofra and another color pop and tart right here this little trio kkw this is a mess i'm so sorry guys and then i have just a little shana b miami and a little becca so i have a lot of blush and then these two little color pops right here and for bronzers i have bronzers all right here i have my mark jacobs charlotte tilbury um revolution essence lys <laughs> um uh, elf makeup by mario which is great by the way milani cover effects kvd ofra the glowish line anastasia hourglass color pop um, oh, this is Blue Beauty. This is supposed to go somewhere else. It's supposed to go back in that little bin I showed you guys earlier. My bad. And then Nabla. So yeah, this is my bronzer, blush, and highlight drawer. I love this drawer so much. So this is all my um, individual blush, bronzers, and highlights. Okay, now onto these last two drawers here. I have, oh, I have to clean my drawers. Um, in this drawer, I have my face palettes and some eyeshadows. And then down here, it's just all eyeshadows. So... This is a pretty intense drawer. So these are all my face palettes and then this one right here. So I have Pixie, more Pixie, Sigma, Patrick Ta, Too Faced. This is so hard to see. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, more Too Faced. This is Ofra, this little white one right here. And then I have Smashbox. I have Becca. I have Charlotte Tilbury. I have Natasha Denona. I have Wander Beauty. I have another Ofra, I believe. Yeah, Ofra. I gotta flip that the other way. And then I have... Juvia's Place Bronzing Duo, which is so good, by the way. And I have Jouer. I also have another Charlotte Tilbury. I have the Sigma Cinderella. I have, I got this for free, this little Too Faced highlighting trio thing. And then Elf. And then Undone Beauty. So, yeah. And then all back here, I have, oh, I have, oh my goodness. Then I have a glow kit from Anastasia. And then a Laura Lee Los Angeles highlighter. And then I have some of my favorite eyeshadows here. So I have my Natasha Denona Golds, Biba, uh, Bronze, Sunrise, Retro, Glam, Love, and the Glam Face Palette. And then I have my Tarte ones right here. I have my Flower Beauty Jungle Lights. And then, whoa, Persona, Identity 1, Identity 2, 
Jouer right here. Back here, I have a couple Milani. So right back here, I grabbed them out here. I have a little Jason Wu nine pan, a couple Milani, those uh, colors, and then the Makeup by Mario Master Mats. I'm gonna smooth these real quick. And then I have the Bare Minerals, just like a little mineralist one in Sunlit. I have Nabla Dreamy, and I have like Ofra, Juvia's Place, and ColourPop all down back here. And I think I also have a Melt Palette. Yeah, I have my Melt Palette down there as well. So, yeah. And then back here, are these, all, these are all my little single shadows from ColourPop. And I think I have a couple from Ofra as well. Okay, guys. And this is the last drawer of my makeup collection. And this one, as you can see, is a lot more organized compared to the top row. But we are getting there. And my son's in the background making noise, so please don't mind him. So I have all of my nine pan color pops right here and i have two sigma nine pans i have my animal crossing and color pop collab here um three other little color pop quads a little charlotte tilbury quad and then i have more color pop right here <laughs> ends right here then i have my huda beauty palettes all right here i have my naked palettes right here and then the stone vibes palette and then i have lime crime the venix xl 2 and i have all of my Sigma, I have my two longer ABH palettes, the Primrose and Amrezy, and then I have the Too Faced palettes that my husband got me. Oh, there's my other Nabla and an LA Girl. Oh, my Melt one's down here. Oh my gosh. I moved them around literally yesterday, so <laughs> my um, Melt Amori Mariposas was up here, so don't mind me getting that wrong. But yeah, and then I have um, Too Faced Natural Lust down here. And yeah, that is everything. My little makeup area tour and i think for right now i'm just gonna put this right here you know it was in the other drawer that is it guys that is my entire little makeup corner i guess you could say um i am loving how it turns out i still want to decorate the walls a little bit up here i do have my little <laughs> veg hog right there but yeah i really like how it turns out it's really working for me so far and then i have my desk right here next to me which i would show you but it is very very messy right now but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe i appreciate your support and please follow me on instagram as well um everything will be in the description and i hope to see you guys in my next video and have a great day bye guys